If you have unstructured documents and you've applied structure through a conversion table, the next step is to create an EDD. The process for doing so is going to Structure, EDD, Export Element Catalog as EDD. So it's basically going to take these elements and export them into this document. So this is the EDD. This has all of the elements and different rules and text formatting properties for each of these elements. Creating and modifying your EDD can be challenging. One suggestion is to learn by pulling from other structure templates that you get with FrameMaker. I can click on the new button up here and go into the structured section and go to the online section. I'm going to the online section because I want to find a particular document that has hypertext elements. Most of the EDDs that you might work with don't have hypertext elements because they're intended for printed material. I'm going to go ahead and pull out an EDD from here by exporting the catalog and I'll collapse these elements, open it back up, and I'm going to snag a couple things from here. First, I'll need hypertext. I'm going to go ahead and copy this, Control C to copy. I'm going to go to my EDD, and towards the bottom here, I can paste it, go back to the other EDD, and I'm going to find another one called WebJump. That's just the name they gave it. You can call it whatever you'd like. I'm going to move this back in here. I'm in my EDD, and now I have these two elements. This hypertext element here basically controls the marker itself. So I define the marker such as go to URL uh, in this marker. This other component, which they've called WebJump, allows me to define a character format. So I'll need to make sure that I create a WebJump character format in my actual structure document, not inside the EDD. There's still quite a bit more work to do. I'd suggest reading up on the Structure Developer Guide that Adobe provides. Or if you're interested, Come and take a class with us at lumenbright.com.